Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play the acoustic classic Goodbye Blue Sky by Pink Floyd. Now, a lot of tabs that you'll see for this around um, and ways I've seen people play it, in the very beginning it's actually wrong. There's, a, there's, a, there's a, two guitars actually going on there, but there's the main dominant part and the one that David Gilmore plays live. And how he actually plays is a little bit different than you'll see actually done. It's this open G string is actually played and got a little bit of vibrato on it too when he plays it in the intro, especially. So we're going to cover that and we're going to play it like that. But later in the song, you do play it with just those pure open strings. So just anybody that's like that, that's, that's kind of odd. I've never seen it play like that. Watch him play it live, especially back in the day, like 81, 82, and you'll see exactly how he did it. So that's how we're going to do it today. So we're going to start here. We're in standard tuning. I'm using a nylon string guitar like he did, and we're gonna, he does it with pick style though. So we're going to start with just five on the A string to four on the D. Back down to that five. Then you're going to slide into, you're going to play two on the D string and the open G. So you can play that two with your third, fi third finger, and then you slide into four on the D, two on the G. So we have this. Now, while he's doing this, there's also this part is continuing. All right, but on the recording, this is going on underneath that. So we have. Then the open D. Now that open D allows you to come back up here and grab the original figure, which is so it's five, four, five, five. And when he plays that five, he puts a little bit of vibrato on it. But immediately while you're holding that note, go back down and pick the five. This whole song, we have just a lot of down, up, down, up going on. So just keep that in mind. You're keeping a low bass note going at all times. We have So all together so far. So we have it. Then we do this opening look again. This time we pull off at the end of it. Quick little pull off from two to the open string on the D string. And then back to the. Now when we get to this second here. get to that four the second time around come back to the second fret and play three two then the open a string you can pick those to just kind of pull it off so that all right now that's that's pretty much the whole intro uh, which you hear at the beginning of the song then we get to this main figure This is an overdub too. He goes all the way up to this while this starts underneath it. So it's obviously two guitars there. But we'll, you see, I'm just keeping this open A going. And the way to think about it is have the A going at all times. And on the upstrokes is usually when you're hitting the notes. Now, this is kind of random, the rhythm he does here. So, you know, become very familiar with the song, the times that he's doing. Sometimes I hit the top note, that note twice, then play those two notes together so if there's played just listen to the melody note and if you have to you hit the a open a string with that to keep that constant a pattern going see so yeah, I hit those last two together and then this three times on this note twice then back to two times Alright, so it's just 10, 9, 10, 9, then 9, 10, 11, 12, while keeping that A going. Alright, when he gets to that last note, you're going to hear this with it. All 
right, so that's just the those same two notes, five on the uh, A string, four on the D. Just pick straight across them this time though. We're gonna go fifth string, fourth string, then the third. So we pick straight across, up and down, twice. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. And then from there we do that opening line we did. Which is still that same. This is actually, you just slide straight into this four and two, then two, then open, and then do a quick pull off from two to zero on the fifth string. So we have this. All right, so he missed that at the beginning. Just other than that, it's the exact same thing. Now I have this next figure here, sounds like this. Really cool. So once again, we have this open D going now. So it's 11 on the G, open D, 11 on the G, back to the open D, and then the nine on the G. Then seven on the G more open D's, just keep that constant D going. Then the six, so we have this. And then hit that six again, do a quick hammer on, pull back off the six, then the open D, so we have this all together. Now jump back here. That's second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D, and then the open G. You're picking straight up and down, 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 up, up. Do that picking across it uh, up and down four times. And back. Now the first time you play this part, do it three times. Now we get to the uh, the verse when the vocals actually come in, and that part is a little bit more extended version of what we did before. So it sounds like this. So we're just doing that 10 to the 9. Just keep hitting that A going. Now you start picking consistently 10, 9, 7, 5, 4, 2, 0. Then the fret on the A string, taking you back to that picking pattern that we did earlier here at the second fret on the A string that we ended the previous section with. All right, now we get to the open string version of the intro, that little... A bit softer sounding than it did in the intro. So those are those still five on the A, four on the D, open G, you're gonna pick fifth string, fourth string, fifth, third. And then just five, four, five, four a couple times. So we have this. Again. Alright, then we go back to that.
right, so that time in the song it only does it twice. And then we're back to the... So this one's just like the first one. We're just, we don't go down the fretboard anymore. We just go 9, 10, 11, 12. And we'll go back to this to end it. You can see where we're just we're just kind of doing the same little part that we did earlier. It's the same lick, and then we're jumping right to this ending, which is open D with the seventh fret on the G, seventh fret on the B. And then still the open D with the sixth fret on the G, fifth fret on the B. Now once again, we're going to keep a constant open D going along with these chords that we're doing. Alright, so you made it there, then move that up three frets. It's eight and nine now. Then back to those two sevens. So we have this. So it did those chords through twice, but the timing is a little bit different. So you have to hit the chords on upstrokes mostly on the first time through and then, I mean on downstrokes mostly the first time through, then the upstrokes and they're on the upbeat on the second time around. So just see if you can follow that real quick. So after coming back here, you play now the 7-7 seven, seven on the G and the D, B string and then 5 and 5 on the B and the G. So a few Ds there, four to be exact, and then a quick on the upbeat, hit those two fives again. So we have this. Again. There's a little bass line there, and then we have the So that's the open string version of the intro, which is just so five, four, five, three, then five, four, five, four. I'm calling out the strings there. All right, so you just continue that pattern and it kind of segues into the next track. All right, so it's a great song. It sounds great by itself. You don't even need uh, vocals, even though the vocals are really cool in the song too. Um, but I hope you get a lot out of it. So you don't have to have a nylon string or just do it on electric if you want. It doesn't matter. It's all just music. All right, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.